All right, looks like they struck to Dreamland. Gonna get started here. Dr. B with an up throw or two. He's got him caught up there on the platform. A little difficult to get down versus Link because his um, his moves linger for so long. That was weird. That was really weird. The bomb just kind of came back at him. That was a good fade back knee. Seems like the plan of attack with Link is to um, to basically play kind of patient, try to bait out uh, some like hasty moves that don't work really well, and then just capitalize off of them. Because he's got some really good tools for poking from a pretty far distance, like he can throw bombs, boomerangs, arrows. And if you get up too close and you try to start like shield pressuring him, he can just up you out of shield. And that's really good. I feel like what Falcon has to do here is just kind of endure all of Link's bullshit until he can get a couple clean hits. You gotta play against mid tiers really safe. Because with mid tiers, it feels like a lot of their, um. It's either they're, like, camping you from a distance or they're just right up in your face just putting out hitboxes. And either way, you have to play safe or else you're gonna get punished to death. Is that five up tilt? Jesus. Not me. That was good. That was a good edge guard. I drive on the stairs. It's really hard to edge guard Link. Feels like I think that was the second time he's done that now. But I feel like that's a really good option to choose against Link. Because with his up B, he can pretty much just kind of kill you off stage if you aren't careful, or he can convert really well. Triple up air, and nothing. If he can just do stuff like that, if you aren't careful edge guarding him, he can just kind of hit you with one of those straight hits of up B, and then you just kind of get hit, and it knocks you at about um, a horizontal angle, about like shine, and it just kind of, you just kind of die from it, especially if you're playing a fast faller. Just staying back, racking up damage. About got this to be an even game, which is pretty significant considering he had like 75% when Dry Bones had two stocks. Alright, game one goes to Dry Bones. I find it kind of interesting. Both characters really like to go to um, Dreamland. I, and they're going back. 
All right. So I think we're gonna see the same game plan that we saw last time. Drybone's getting in and racking up some quick percent. Alright, alright. Too far to grab ledge. Alright, normally what happens with that is people will try to approach it from either horizontally or from beneath, and it'll knock you at about a horizontal angle, which is really bad if you're a character that falls quickly. Because you'll just end up out, like, and diagonal from the stage. But since he hit it from a high angle, I don't think that, um, kind of knocked him up in a way. Now normally, what happens? Yeah, there, that's what happens normally. Alright, alright. Walks up and up tilts him. At ledge. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me a whole lot if, um... They end up going back here game three if there is a game three we saw it just a minute ago with um in grand finals they played all or in winners finals they played all five games on or on final destination it could, could happen. Seems both players really like this stage. Both characters really favor this stage. I don't know who it's better for. I think it. I think this just comes down to um, which player abuses Dreamblade more. Dreamblade's just doing a really good job of avoiding. Um, the up beast. Yeah, with stuff like that, that's, that's a really good way you can shut down Link's primary kill option if you can just get around up beast. Now that's why you don't edge card Link. Stupid stuff like that happens. So easy to get killed by Link off stage. But that's it. That's the set.